Hello, how are we all doing? All right? Hi, I'm Simon, I'm, uh, this is Erin. And yeah, please just come in, come in, come in, we just started. Um, this is a relaxed um, award ceremony, so you can come and go as you please, and you can, you know, not worry that you have to, you know, sit still or anything like that. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> and also each award as they're announced and as we're doing them is also relaxed. So don't worry about rushing up to the stage, don't worry about getting the thing in time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? Right, I need to, see, I've got my little clipboard, you see. So I know, I know what I'm doing. Um, but it's not a chance actually then hold the mic and then do it. So that's, uh, anyway, right, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so, no expense there. Anyway, so I should probably just have a little bit of preamble, shouldn't I, about uh, apparently if there's a fire, you go out that way. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're safe, you're safe. Um, and uh, so, yes, I'm Simon, I'm the editor of Neurodiverse Review, and three weeks ago this site didn't exist. And, uh, and now we're having an award ceremony. Hilarious. So, <laughs> it's so lovely to have you all here today, and uh, we're going to hand out some awards, uh, and we're going to announce winners. You feel free to tweet, hashtag, take pictures, all the way through, it's fine. Um, and then after it, after we're done, uh, just crack on with the buffet. All my husband's got to use all that fruit to make crumble, so, <laughs> and I hate crumble, so don't try and eat the fruit. Or just take it, just put, take it, sell it on. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so I just want to say a little thing about how heartening it was to set up this review site and to find hundreds of acts and creatives getting in touch saying, thank you for setting this up, there's never been any kind of representation like this for us at the Fringe and in other areas of our industry before, and it really just sort of puts a spotlight on the fact that, you know, we should be setting our own agenda, we should be... Uh, you know, reviewing our peers' work, talking to each other, not having people that know very little about the disabled community basically passing judgment on us. So um, it's, I'm so glad that we've been able to uh, facilitate that and help, and I'm sure it's the beginning of a much larger conversation uh, going on into future years. Right, so I just want to wait to see who's won the awards now. So, I'm going to <laughs> so what's going to happen is, so what's going to happen is, I'm going to name the award, the nominees, and then the presenter, if there is one, is going to come up and announce it. Then you come up, you can say a few words too. Okay, if you want, don't have to. So our first award is for neurodiversity representation. So the award that represents neurodiversity. I've just realised. The person, or persons, anyway, doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> so the nominees for neurodiversity representation are <laughs> Benny Shapes for the Blue Badge Bunch, <laughs> Chris Frizzle for Let's Get Frizzle to the tune of Let's Get Frizzle, <laughs> Harriet Dyer for Trigger Warning. <laughs> Alice McCulloch for Earth to Alice. To present the award is Paul Sinner. Hello, it's going to be on my post. Uh, this, you had one job. Is that my Hello. Oh, sorry, Paul. That's all right. It equalises the, uh, the gap between those of hard of hearing and the hard of hearing award and everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes, we're in. Uh, my name's Paul Sinha. I have Parkinson's disease, but uh, it's early Parkinson's, which is good news, because it means I am capable of opening an envelope. <laughs> Shall I give you the envelope? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, that was Paul. So, the first ever winner of a Neurodiverse Review Award is... I think I know who it is, because I've got Darren Brown on skills. All right, I've got Parkinson's, but we don't have any up. I was right, it is Harriet Dyer. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
I'll do that. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. I've got my backpack on still, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I've addressed us, but, but I've got a lovely t t shirt actually. It says, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but what am I on about? Uh, thank you uh, very well. I'm quite overwhelmed, really. This is nice, isn't it? Um, thank you, genuinely. Uh, all the best in your endeavours. I don't know. Why I'm <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 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 Awesome. That went all right, I think. Oh, I should have mic, shouldn't I? <laughs> Brilliant. Awesome. So the next award is for the Visually Impaired Excellence Award. And now you're going to see me do the thing with the clipboard yet again. <laughs> And I've got to present it as well, so I've got to get the thing out. It's just, just cruel. Right, so the nominees for the Visually Impaired Excellence Award is Janie McDonald for <laughs> Green Hill <Hitler Vision. laughs> Pippa Cleary, composer, My Sons Are Queer. <laughs> Jackson King, Antigone the Musical. And Leanne Higgins for the Marketplace and I, which is an art exhibition. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to open this. £3.50 from Paper Chase. <laughs> fringe, fringe Connect budget, that is. Very, very grateful. Though. Still not 10 quid left if you can think of anything to buy with it. And the winner is Pippa Cleary! <laughs> only winner today that couldn't be here because she went back to London. <laughs> uh, she was only up for a few days, but she did email me when I told her this morning. Uh, so, I will read. Just talk amongst yourselves while I <laughs> um, I took a photograph of it, actually. You have to sign all of this, don't you? I'm just talking rubbish, sorry. <laughs> there is ample parking <laughs> in the speedball <laughs> 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 Okay. okay, so this is what Pippa said on her award. I am so incredibly sorry not to be here to collect this award. I am extremely grateful for this honour and couldn't be prouder of my work on My Sons Are Queer. I was brought on last minute to work with Rob and we wrote seven songs together in three evenings, which is the fastest I've ever worked. Rob is an extremely special performer and their story deserves to be told and I'm incredibly lucky to have been part of this journey. So that's the Pippa. Thanks. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let's get on to the Actually Autistic Award. Woo! And the nominees are Keris Bradley, sports person. Mark Grimshaw, hit me with your autistic. Erin Tett finds her audience. Simpson, a sexy, and I know it. <laughs> now, if, if Peter Greenwood here, no. Okay, well I'll do it. <laughs> there we go. Just opening up the thing. And the winner is Harris Bradley. <laughs> Yeah, we go. 
Lovely. Uh, give it up a hand for Carrot Zab. <laughs> you know, in doing this, obviously being, you know, autistic myself and really like nervous and obsessive compulsive, I was convinced I got everyone's names wrong. <laughs> I was going to say everyone's names wrong. Uh, I was going to spell them wrong and the awards. But uh, if, if uh, they are, I can redo them. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> what are we on to now? We're on to the um, Birds, Birds of Paradise Emerging Talent Award, but is Rona here yet? Should I skip and come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll skip and come back. Go to the UK. Which Spiegel tent did she go to? <laughs> <laughs> that was the artistic director of Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll like, like very much like a segue into the ADHD Comedy Award. Suddenly, it's the ADHD Comedy Award. Uh, I'll just read out the nominees in a really slick way. Okay, oh, it's on the other page. Okay, the ADHD Comedy Award. The nominees are Alice Brine for Brainstorm. <laughs> Kitty Messalina for the Black Comedian Showcase. <laughs> Colin Holt for Death of Anna Man. <laughs> and Anjali Singh for A Matter of Time. <laughs> and to present the ADHD Comedy Award, we have SK Shlomo. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Yeah. First of all, I just want to say a massive thanks for this human here working so hard for all of us. Um, and I'm very excited. I can hold it while you do it. If there is a stand. Sorry, I've got a hand. I'm good. Um, <laughs> my darlings, I'm so proud of, uh, to be asked to present this award. When I first heard about it, I was a bit like, what do you mean present? Did you mean win? <laughs> and I like this ADHD comedy award, and I'm a comedian, I'm a beatboxer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> the winner of the 2022 ADHD comedy award is... <laughs> it's Colin Ho! Oh wow! Oh yeah, I want one of these guys to do. Uh, no, no. Anyway, um, thank you so much. It's, um, I'm very tired and emotional, and uh, I struggle with emotion sometimes. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, it's been a fairly new thing, the ADHD thing for me to understand. Uh, like I say in my show, like growing up, we didn't really have words like neurodiversity. I was just called a thick, late, useless twat. Um, but now I have this thing that I understand and it's changed my whole life. Um, I won't take up too much time, but I just want to say thanks to my wife for diagnosing me. No, no, she didn't diagnose me. She, she initially diagnosed me. I have an official diagnosis. I'm not cheating. No, no. But she, no, she basically was the one who said, I met someone with ADHD and this is you. Uh, and now she goes, oh, when I'm telling you to do like 12 things and you hear none of it, I understand why, you know. Uh, or, or, unfortunately, she talks extremely fast. So I just kind of, she starts talking and I just go, ah, and just walk away. But anyway, um, this is really wonderful for me and um, it's been really nice to be a part of the community. I think it's amazing what you're doing and what everyone's doing. Congratulations to everyone for fucking coming up and doing this. You know? Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. It's nice. It's it's um, it's a very interesting year this year. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know if it's just a coincidence. But people seem to be talking much more openly about neurodiversity, uh, disability, things like that. And I think it's more from a, a a place of wanting to learn because I'm an autistic person, but I don't. I, there's lots I don't know about other aspects of the social community. I'm learning. I'm learning all the time, you know. So it's just nice to have that kind of 
intersection and inclusivity. So it's lovely, <laughs> lovely to hear. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> now we have the Deaf Action Award, uh, which is sponsored Ooh, by yeah. Deaf Action. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in. Uh, and uh, it was lovely, no, because they, they, for the first year, it's the 75th year of the Edinburgh Fringe, blah, blah, blah. But it is, was the first Edinburgh Deaf Festival this year, which was amazing. <laughs> And there were deaf raves, there were raving deaf people. I mean, like, flaming. So it wasn't a disability joke, it was a gay joke. Anyway, I <laughs> covered myself, it's fine. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. But it was amazing. It was from the, the 12th to the uh, 19th, and it was amazing. I got to see uh, some amazing stuff there. And uh, here are the nominees for the Deaf Action Award. So, Nadia Nadaraja for Spill Your Drink at Deaf Cabaret. <laughs> Amy Murray for Spill Your Drink at Deaf Cabaret. <laughs> Steve Day for Disabled Can'ts. <laughs> and Rinku Barbhaga for Made in India, Britain. And to present the award is the CEO of Deaf Action, Philip Gerrard. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, Simon. Thank you for asking me to, um, to present this award. I'm honored to be here. I think we're still recovering, if I'm honest, from the Edinburgh Deaf Festival. It was <laughs> mad, it really was. Diverse and mad, and the rave was um, also there were deaf karaoke. There were so many crazy things happening <laughs> during the week. So deaf action is based in Edinburgh. We provide a range of services for deaf people and support and so on, but also celebrate deafness, and that's why the festival was um, the perfect fit. And it's so amazing to see deaf and hearing people intermingling and interacting and seeing shows that are accessible for everyone and to see deaf performers really showcase deaf talent. So thank you for naming this award the Deaf Action Award. And thank you for the judges. It must have been a hard decision. I also just wanted to say something about Simon because he did come to the Edinburgh Deaf Festival and he reviewed our shows, or certainly one of our shows. And today I thought maybe I should do a little review. <laughs> 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 stars because he's drinking water from the Edinburgh Deaf Festival water bottle. 12 pounds. <laughs> so moving on, I think I need an envelope. This is a fantastic surprise. Uh, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Um, well, first of all, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't sign with the, my award in my hand, so I'll put that down. First of all, I want to say thank you very much to Pleasance Theatre um, and their Generate Fund. That's what allowed me to perform at the Fringe this year. And to be honest, I was quite surprised to be invited. There's 3,000 shows here at the Fringe, and uh, I w wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to compete with them. Um, you know, my, in the deaf community, I've, I've found uh, a lot of barriers and I've struggled a lot. And um, so I, I'm privileged to be able to share those barriers uh, to everybody through my performance. We've had a real eclectic mix of hearing and deaf audiences, and it's been hard to please everybody, but I'm just glad uh, that we've, we've managed to do so well this year. 
Uh, I want to say thank you very much to everybody that I've worked with, um, Tyrone Huggins, um, Daniel Bailey, my voice actor, Matthias Andre, and he is a fantastic, brave character. He came in at the last minute to replace another voice actor, and he doesn't actually know sign language, but he uh, has done a fantastic job. A special thanks to Deaf Explorer as well. Uh, and I, you know, the last time I received an award, it, it was when I was a football player 15 years ago, so I'm glad, <laughs> glad to get another one. Thank you very much. <laughs> with our present? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I wonder where this other Spiegel tent was. <laughs> That's what Frederick, I want to know. Frederick Street. Oh, is it? Is that why in Frederick Street? Manchester. Oh, right. Germany. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Right, okay. Look at that. Oh, no, my messy bitch thing oh. fell off. <laughs> this is a uh, messy bitch from uh, the Dan Door show, which I went to last night, and I, yes, I am. Right, okay, as you can see, literally. Right, okay, where are we now? So, should we do the uh, Birds of Paradise Exceptional Theatre Award? Now, this is uh, an award, one of two awards sponsored by Birds of Paradise Theatre Company, which are a disabled-led theatre company in Scotland, but they also look, take their scope further afield. And uh, yeah, they sponsor this award. We're very grateful for our very first year to have such support for so many amazing organisations. So, here are the four nominees for the Birds of Paradise Exceptional Theatre Award. So we have Amy Bethan Evans for Tinted. <laughs> Dan Dore for The Dan Dore Show. <laughs> Chris Singleton for How To Be A Better Human. <laughs> and Livia Kojo Alor for Black Sheep. And to present the award is the Artistic Director of Birds of Paradise Theatre Company, Robert Softly Gale. Oh my god, 
this festival has been such an emotional roller coaster for me. I think uh, from The Guardian absolutely hating me <laughs> to uh, the Scotsman loving me and my <laughs> audience is being, you know, I'm a black person performing for white people every night talking about racism. Um, has been, yeah, has been really has taken a toll on my mental health. I, um, I, uh, God, I don't know what to say. I am, um, I suffer from an illness called sarcoidosis, which gives me um, fatigue. So I usually, on best of days, I wake up in the morning and sometimes feel like I can't get up. And um, it's been, it's been a real challenge. And um, so I've got some undiagnosed neurodiversity issues too. But I would have never thought that I'd been acknowledged in this you know, in, in this field. So it's made me really feel seen and um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, 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 stay Robert. Okay. Right, okay. So we can my <laughs> there we go. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. That's very, very interesting what you said there about uh, reviewers you know, a white audience is seeing a work by a black artist because uh, the lot of conversations that uh, people had with me is why are non-disabled people reviewing disabled people's work and then just erasing the disability from the review. So that's the thing that we need to challenge and change, I think. Uh, and it's on across a lot of fields and a lot of things and it just seems it really needs to, to change. So anyway, we've got um, one more award left. Look at this, look, see, it's not, not organised, is it? No, this is the Birds of Paradise Emerging Talent Award. So uh, the nominees are Eric Yu for Death of a Disco Dancer. <laughs> Helena Fox for Blue and Pip. <laughs> Laurie Owen for Some Other Mirror. <laughs> and Laura Crow for Earwig. Yeah. There you go. I've already got my spiel, so. Yeah, yeah, just get it. Right. Fucking hell. And the winner is. Right. <laughs> like, what a crow. Yay. And I believe someone clicked in the law, the law goes to heart, yes? Individuals like Madonna. Is that? <laughs> uh, so I want a sign. I want a sign, a specialist sign. So if someone can make one, I think it's like bestowing drag queens' names. What are you? Why are you doing a wanker sign? <laughs> anyway, give, yeah, give it up for Erin, who is our. She, she was on holiday, and we rammed her into this. <laughs> Anyway, no, we're very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you to all the nominees and to all the winners. Just <laughs> to uh, we've got one more award, which it was not an open nomination. It was a closed nomination. It was decided by the team at Neurodiverse Review. And we wanted to do something that we're going to do every year, which is a Lifetime Achievement Award. And this year's Lifetime Achievement Award is for Philip Gerrard, the CEO of Deaf Action. <laughs> For a lifetime service to the deaf community, mate. You've been out here for decades, it's amazing. And even though I only met you a week ago, I could see the legacy and amount of work and the amount of stuff that's happened over the years. It's just incredible. So 
you like to come and collect your lifetime achievement? <laughs> comes around, it'll come around all too I know you're already groaning because you're trying to get me through the end of your run. But think about making your shows accessible and inclusive through having BSL interpreters at every or most shows because it really does make a huge difference and I think it's something that I think a lot more people want to do in the future. Anyway, so thank you everyone for coming today at such short notice and uh, for putting yourself forward for nominations and all the audiences that nominated your work and all the people that have seen your work. You're all doing amazing stuff. Thank you so much. Help yourself to the, there's, there's um, some, there's only about one pack of posh crisps, <laughs> but uh, there is some Kit Kats and there is some sugar-free iron brew. So just put them in your pockets, please, because otherwise I'm going to have to lug it home. Okay, thank you, and have a good day! And you can stick, and you can stick around after the chat and everything. We've got it till half four, so just, you know, relax, have fun. <laughs>